It's a large number of papers, but since they have to maintain a separate minimum quality, if you just publish large number of papers without citations, it's not going to help. So we increase faculty strength. That's important because as more faculty in India, the problem is we, have, we lack critical mass in most areas. There's only 1%, 2% doing it in any area. So they cannot collaborate, they cannot discuss. So if you get more faculty in every area, then they are able to discuss and then come up with better and better papers. Okay. Then also appoint star faculty. I think it's very important to identify really promising researchers and appoint them at a early stage so that uh, they can have a big impact. And this, this, you know, I think something which has to be done in all the universities at some point is to employ a tenure system where the person is evaluated after five, six years. And the decision is taken whether to continue that person or not based on the performance. So is there any study which says that tenure system is better? Yeah, because can you cite any research? Research, proper research with proper data. How do you compare? It's a problem. Let me see. If you've written a tenure system is good, so there should be research. No? Because the only way this you see, there is not research. It's not research. You are looking at what way you do, the way you there's no what you see. Because the problem is how do you compare all the US universities at tenure? Okay, so you cannot compare uh, among US universities, they will all be having the same. In India, now we have tenure in IAC, in TAFR, uh, that's about it I think. Only these two institutions have tenure in India. So now you have to see how, you know, uh, you are, only now you have to see going forward how it happens. The basic philosophy of why tenure is important is not is that. that. I agree. That you are throwing away all the bad performance, that's all. Yeah, I so, have my own mind mm. that researcher is to be free from any stress. Mm. And a research output comes five years after the project is completed. Mm. A tenure is only for two years. No, no, six years. After six years. Sir, sir, you cannot measure its research output in a tenure process. No, no, that's why it's very important to have peer reviews. If you have selection committees to do your uh, promotion, it's not going to work. Sir, you what are have citing, you are correlating tenure to citation. And there is no study which can correlate. How can you do the study? Why should not write? Why should not write? Huh? There is a fundamental thing. If you, there is a fun, no, no, no. There is nothing to do with studies. Okay. Suppose, very simple. You, you look at all the performing researchers. You throw out all, you don't give tenure to all the non-performing researchers. Then automatically your um, uh, performance is going to go up, yes. isn't it? There's pressure on everybody to perform. Now there's no pressure on anybody to perform. Everybody gets promoted. Everybody gets the same salary. So where is the pressure to perform? You know? yes. So that is the main thing. You know, it's something to do because you cannot do this study as I told you because we don't have many uh, ten years one can do the study. I mean because again we have only two institutions now in India which have ten years. So compare them with their performance with the other institutions. What are those? AAC uh, and TFA. Uh, uh, my institution and TFA. Hey, what I know, like University of Melbourne, mm. they have a strategy of including their rank. Right. What they did was best person, but yes. they asked him to join. Yeah. And the salary doubled. Yes. Right? At UST. Yes. I told the salary. Yeah. And now the person comes and he is editor of five journals. Yeah. He comes with general editorship. Yes. And there are students writing those papers. Yeah. And reviewers are there. So these rooms are there. Yeah, yeah. So you first general, second general, third general, and they are getting quotation. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not a system. No, no. But that's why I said that one is not that is such a pure manipulation. Okay. But still, you see, there isn't the research no no no. It's not just you should, you cannot be too cynical about it also. When a good person joins, how did that person become an editor of journal? How did the person become he has done good work, isn't it? It just didn't become an editor of journal just by doing uh, low quality yes, work. Now you come to my point. The yeah. editorship is not tenure based. So he has come to a tenure, but no editor, editor, no editor will be appointed who is not tenure. Yes. I can guarantee that. No, all editors, only tenured people are appointed uh, sir, as editors. Sir, can you throw some light so, about the IC and sir, after the tenure business? Oh, tenure business? Okay, basically so after six years. No, no, we have always had tenure you know, uh, in the ASC. So basically, you know, we, after six years, you know, we evaluate um, based on peer review. So we send out the letters to about dozen people across the world, you know. 
So you we get the feedback about the paper quality, how good the paper. So we don't the citations doesn't come into picture. So that's what your point about citations is not there. You know, it's about peer review, about uh, referring to uh, the general papers. I agree with you, sir. Yeah. Uh, the visibility of the department cannot be improved unless and until we have. I mean. Uh, so in case the new, I don't know whether you have read the new education policy, in case it is, uh, they have, they have said, uh, they have recommended that all institutions need to take care of Yes. So that's why I'm saying, that's why peer review is very important. We are in IAC, TFL, etc. The only criteria for promotion, no citations. Only criteria, criteria for promotion is peer review. So you send it out to 12 people across the world, and if everybody, you know, at least six or seven need to respond. If six or seven tell that this person is really good um, and, um, and uh, you know, uh, doing excellent work, we promote. That's it. So, and all this quantification happened only recently. US universities have been having this tenure system for ages, right from the beginning. So there again, you know, when you look at the tenure process of uh, any US university or in IAC or TFR or the uh, top U European universities, it's always depends on peer review. I think that is very critical that you depend only on peer review, uh, not on uh, citations, you know, any metrics. Metrics, as was pointed out by many people, can be manipulated. But peer review is much more difficult to manipulate if you have, again, if I am a biased administrator, I can send to all the friends of the person. So at some point you have to trust somebody, you know. If you don't trust anybody, nothing, nothing will work in the world, you know. Basically if you assume that the administrators are good, the head of the departments, the deans and so on are good, they want to, you know, improve the institution, then they are sent to good people for peer review. And then automatically you get a very fair comparison of the so, uh, you know, in fact, some uh, Harvard used to be very brutal. They would send letters to 10 people. They would not even give, mention your name there. They will just say, list the top three persons in your mind. Who is in your area? Who is the top three person? So they will get all these lists. They will see if your name appears in all these lists. If your name doesn't appear, you are thrown out. And the person who is ranked number one by everybody is brought in. <laughs> No. So it was, um, but it was probably too extreme, you know. Uh, uh, so they also have sort of moderated it now, you know, getting more uh, you know, things to the local people. So some are continued also. But essentially, I think the key component of the again like to stress is not metrics, but peer review. You know, that is what will really make the change you know, at every point. So, <clears throat> and then. You know, you have to reward performing faculty in terms of research and travel grants, you know, because you cannot just divide all the grants equally among all faculty members and give them. If somebody is performing better, reward them. Because in India, it's very difficult to reward them in terms of salaries. So at least you reward them in terms of other, you know, things, you know like uh, grants and uh, travel and so on. I'm saying that's what you see. At some point, you have to trust somebody. You know, if you don't trust anybody, anything can be manipulated. <laughs> anything can be manipulated. That's why. Uh, sure. On the whole, see, at least on the whole, it's improved because not every administrator may be manipulated. Some may be good people there. You know, then they will do a good job. Then some good people will come up. Then they will become administrators. So only the system will improve. So it's. Yeah. This is the problem with the system in which we are living for the last 40 to 50 years. That anything we start, it is always with a doubt and cynical mind. Mm. Let it be any position. 
Well, and I don't know when this culture will end and we will start relying first on our own well, judgment. Yeah. Yes, that we are making. If I am trusting, I am giving a marship to you and wait, he will do it fear. Yeah. Because I am also giving him the responsibility yes. and also putting one yes. one sipai behind him. Yeah. That look who which officer he is meeting. Yes. This is the typical mind we are having. Yeah. What to do with it, I don't know. That's right. It has to be a slow, you know, cultural change. In that, he's the educational institutions. We can try to attempt that, you know. Um, so you are absolutely right. If you trust somebody, then that person also will feel the responsibility and do a good job. Only to again, you know, put the check. That is when the person also becomes. Yeah. So only they are. Yeah, yeah, mistakes will be made, yeah, mistakes will be made. So, obviously, <laughs> Okay, we <laughs> can, uh, some more is there, uh, 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 we'll see, yeah, you want to, you want to tell, yeah. That was break or? Break of 15 minutes, then again you will assemble. Is it from 115 or 115 to 115. Okay. So we can break for 15 minutes and again the session will resume at 130 if you permit. Yeah, yeah. And by 3 o'clock it will be over. And yeah. at 3 o'clock it will be over. Then we will take